Our dear Honourable Minister, thank you for taking the time um, to see us for this interview. Um, in a few words, what are the major milestones or developments of the agriculture sector of Botswana in the past 20 years? Uh, thank you very much and uh, welcome to the Ministry of Agriculture. In the past two decades, Botswana government developed deliberate policies that have ensured sustained growth and creation of opportunities to increase productivity of the agricultural sector. In 2002, government introduced the National Master Plan for Arable Agriculture and Dairy Development uh, to promote commercialization of the agriculture sector. Farmers are being mentored on the rain fed, irrigated agriculture and dairy development to enhance productivity. To improve the status of the dairy industry, the Ministry developed a dairy strategy that addresses key areas in milk production. The Ministry leased out 9,000 hectares to a private investor to carry out sexed embryo transfer to dairy animals. Sexed embryo transfer is where when you inseminate an animal, the sex of is already predetermined. So you are actually inseminating a semen for which the gender is known. And here we are trying to promote the female uh, dairy animals, which are responsible, of course, for, for the production of, of, uh, of milk. In order to improve animal traceability, the ministry has shifted from, uh, from reticular bolus. This is the one that is inserted inside the, the body of an, of an animal uh, to a, what is commonly known as Bates, the ear tech system. Mm -hmm. Bates is, is Botswana Agricultural uh, Identification Traceability System. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, and that is what we have introduced because it's, uh, it's more visible to the farmer, uh, the farmer would readily know whether or not this animal is, is, uh, is identifiable for the market because the market um, demands that an animal must be traceable uh, for, for purposes of uh, whatever reason they may, they may deem fit. The animal must be traced back from the table to the farm. If, if that need arises. We also have poultry abattoirs for small-scale producers in Palape and, uh, and Sefope. We have uh, development processes that have been started to build a multi-species abattoir in, in Sabo. In the multi-species abattoir here, we are talking about those animals which are not cattle per se, but other like sheep, goats, uh, in piggery. I thank you very much. Uh, well, looking at the areas of agriculture that are not yet fully developed and could use the international investors such as um, with the multi-species as you mentioned and um, the processing and value addition, the tannery and horticultural industries amongst others, what are some of the incentives and guarantees that you provide for new investors in this sector? How can the ministry assist um, those investors that are looking to invest in these areas? First, I think it's very important to, to establish the fact that um, any country needs to be self-sufficient in, in food. So we are striving hard for, um, for, for food security as a country. Uh, but in order to promote local production of crop commodities, government regulates imports of such commodities when local produce is sufficient to satisfy the local market. So whenever we feel we have um, enough supply of a given commodity locally, then we do not issue importation permits uh, to promote um, local purchasing, to promote um, um, farmer production confidence, so that as they must be assured that uh, uh, their produce will be, will be bought. In addition, some agricultural implements are exempted from VAT, uh, things like tractors, plows, planters, harrows, um, uh, disc harrows, and, and what have you. Uh, we also exempt um, um, things like uh, vegetable, the, the market for vegetables, the grain crops, and 
and, v and beef are provided for by Botswana Agricultural Horticultural Marketing Board. So you are experiencing uh, calamities like drought in this particular year. Mm -hmm. Then it, it's sort of an insurance that, uh, uh, which, which covers the farmers in terms of um, farmers in terms of disaster. Government also assists investors to acquire land for agriculture uh, whenever it is available. Like I said, mm -hmm. where the, the government farms that we have and feel we are not uh, immediately using them, we lease out to the private sector for because we don't believe in, in, in fallow land. Yes. yes. Now, with the country facing serious water concerns, and coupled with the lack of um, rainfall, also factoring into um, that issue. This can only be a concern for the agricultural sector. And as the 2014-2015 year was declared a year of drought, and with the upcoming year 2015-2016 not seeming as um, brighter, the country has seen a significant drop of 37% during that period with the number of farmers that are taking part in the plowing season. What other challenges, obstacles are you facing in terms of attracting foreign direct investment as a result of this? And what are the solutions? First, I must also make an endorsement that uh, indeed we are experiencing a very serious drought. Very serious in terms of it being the, the hottest in recorded history in, in, in Botswana. We, um, we, for that reason, are. Uh, our, our farmers have, um, have sort of dropped confidence, if I may say so, in, mm -hmm. in farming. But uh, one thing certain is that whether or not there is, there is drought, the stomach will always need food. Mm -hmm. So this is what must drive us, irrespective of um, the kind of climate that we happen to find ourselves in. Otherwise, um, like I'm saying, we need to uh, keep on soldiering, soldiering on. So Botswana, we try to provide a favorable climate where um, the foreign direct investors uh, challenges uh, they can come and assist us in dealing with the, the, the challenges that we are faced with as, as a country. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue of water, like you rightly said, is a very serious problem in this country. Be it underground water, even the, the, the wells that were there, the boreholes that were there, some of them are uh, experiencing dry aquifers and uh, so this unreliable um, this unreliable rains um, are really a repelling a repelling factor to what otherwise potential investors would come here there's a uh, well there are there's also inadequate infrastructure in the production centers, we're talking about roads, we're talking about electricity, we're talking about um, ICT. Uh, these are really uh, some impediments that we are experiencing as, as, as a country. In addition, Botswana, has a, Botswana as a developing country still imports farm machinery and spare parts and therefore uh, their availability could, uh, could be a challenge. When somebody wants to invest at a place which is otherwise far away from the developed centers, where they would be lent, but the infrastructure is not there and the spare parts are relatively some distance away, maybe a repellent, a repellent factor. Lastly, the country's small population might present a small market for the, for the produce. So to address the above challenge, Botswana has since introduced the following policy guidelines, the 1991 Government formulated the National Policy for Agricultural Development to improve the food security, diversify production base, and create sustainable employment opportunities. For the economy to be said to be growing, it must be seen to be employing its people. It must be seen to be uh, feeding its people. It must be seen to be producing even feed for, for its animals. So that's the policy, it's the main focus. So the, the, in 2006, the Agricultural Infrastructure Development Initiative to facilitate access to roads, electricity, water, and communication to production areas. But like I've said, well, fi finance must permit you to do these things. And so far, we haven't been in a position to do or to work at the pace that we thought we would. And um, we, 
we want to believe that ESP will make a very good contribution here in terms of developing our infrastructure to the, to the production centers. The 2007 Botswana Irrigation Policy Strategy for Implementation to promote irrigated agriculture with a view to increasing productivity. Of course, like I said, with these uh, persistent droughts, then it hampers our intention to promote irrigation. The Ministry has also completed a study on wastewater reuse for the whole country. So wherever we are going to be having um, wastewater um, facility, then we are going to try and uh, bring that water for back for agricultural for agricultural use. How have you been cooperating with the international funding institutes that are currently lending a hand to Botswana? Botswana is, is, is well known for, uh, for relating well with uh, the financial uh, international institutions. And uh, one such is the World Bank. Uh, but you know it's not just a matter of doling out money. We need to come up with a, a, a proposal yes. that will convince uh, the, the potential financier that indeed mm -hmm. here is the, an area of need for which the money will be spent well. And uh, very fortunately, I can proudly declare that we are known for our... We have a very good reputation when it comes to usage of money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Irrespective of uh, of the source, so um, so we are we are relating well with the international organisation. We uh, the ministry has just conducted benchmarking activities coordinated by the financing agencies, skills development for project implementation teams, technical advice and guidance by the international financial institutions such as IFAD, and uh, acquisition of machinery equipment and vehicles as well as empowering farmers with production skills. Funds were also availed to implement some, some number of projects. So what image would you like to communicate to our business viewers about the country as an investment destination? First and foremost, I would like potential investment, uh, uh, potential investors to Botswana to, to consider the, uh, the political climate of, of our country, which sometimes is taken for granted that after all is this, but it, you, need, you need somebody to really nurture that, uh, for people to live safe, for people to produce safely, for people to be assured that they will wake up still alive the next morning unless God has, ta has taken a, 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 a contrary decision. But uh, this is a very important, important commodity that we have as a country political stability, peace, tranquility. So that, that uh, I don't think we are not competing for that one with anybody. So Botswana is a net, uh, uh, is a net important development country and therefore presents opportunities to invest in agricultural development. We have ostrich farming, we have a facility here uh, which um, is currently not being put to full use, uh, not even put to the exact use for which it was designed. The availability of an EU certified ostrich abattoir. That is it's certified the certified ostrich abattoir. It, it processes it has value, it, we have tannery, uh, the the upcoming tannery in in, in, in Bobazi. Uh, so we need people who can come and invest here and really um, add value to the skins and hides of, of, of our country. The country is politically stable, like, like I have said, and uh, has a steady macroeconomic environment. We are, we are, we are growing. Uh, and there is ease of capital flight. You know, we have a relaxed financial uh, environment uh, as a country. We are not, uh, we are not rigid. Lastly, to complement all the above opportunities and incentive, government established the Botswana Investment and Trade Center, and Trade Center to facilitate foreign direct investment. So, um, potential investors must be convinced that uh, Botswana, although we have a small population, but um, we are not just targeting Botswana as a country. We are part of the region, we are part of Africa, we are part of the world. Yes. Uh, that is why our beef reaches, uh, reaches the Western world. Now, 
On the 9th of April 2015, the Republic of Botswana joined the Sun Movement with a letter of, of commitment from the Ministry of Agriculture. Which I signed. Yes. <laughs> At the time, Botswana had already achieved pro progress in some areas of food security along, although challenges remained with food accessibility, quality and utilization. What is the strategy to improve the image of your sector with regards to this mandate? What people need to know is that the Minister of Agriculture's main assignment is the provision is to ascertain provision of food for the for the population of Botswana. And it, it should not be just regarded as food, but food of good quality, yes. food of good standing, food of high nutritional but this is what we, we, we people need to know. Uh, but you're talking about the strategy. The strategy is for the sector to publicize opportunities for investment through participation in investment missions locally and abroad, and trade fairs globally. Uh, I mean, um, trade fairs for uh, global exports. Uh, publicity will also be extended to Botswana missions abroad to intensify marketing of the sector. The agricultural hub which we have here mm -hmm. in the ministry was established in 2008 to coordinate the transformation and the diversification and commercialization of the agricultural sector. So we have people in place specifically employed uh, to ascertain that we are moving in the right direction towards, the, uh, towards, food, um, towards food security as a country. Uh, on a long-standing good relationship with the EU in beef trade and uh, this best testimony to good image of the country. Like I said, our beef is uh, reaching uh, the Western world. Quite recently I visited Europe and I was impressed to see our beef on the shelves in, in, in Europe. Recently, um, during his State of the Nation address, His Excellency, the President of Botswana, uh, said, the Ian Kama, um, unveils the economic stimulus program and said that the agricultural sector together with other key areas namely infrastructure, tourism, manufacturing and services will help give the economy the much needed reboot and that the government through the economic stimulus pro um, program is expected to turn the agricultural sector into one of the key drivers of the economic growth and employment creation. What are the future plans or targets for the upcoming three to five years for the ministry? Yes, indeed. Um, I think what to consider most is we are in backlog. Mm -hmm. We are in backlog because of the, the economic meltdown that we have been experiencing, not just as a country, but the world, the world over. Hence, um, the president and government have come up with a the economic stimulus uh, program, which amongst others will boost the agricultural sector. For you cannot have development if people are not healthy, you cannot have development if people do not have food. You cannot have, you cannot have food in areas if the infrastructure is not there yes. uh, to, to, enhance, uh, to enhance productivity. So we, so we uh, we, we definitely have to cause uh, a quick motion in terms of uh, in terms of agricultural production through the economic uh, uh, stimulus program. Our future plans are to double agricultural productivity through commercialization of the sector and practicing climate smart agriculture. Mm -hmm. We will also diversify agricultural production and promote the potential for investment in agro industry and hence increase sector's contribution to GDP. And when I say climate smart agriculture, I'm talking about using appropriate seeds for environment, using appropriate technologies for our environment. Technologies I'm talking about uh, the, the, the right implements for the, uh, not just using any implement in, in any piece of land. To say this particular piece of land would best be used if you use this implement and you plant this particular crop, so uh, so that we are seen to be responding to the to the climate to the climatic 
challenges that we are faced with as, as a country. So um, we, we are, like I said, going to be a, a beneficiary in the, in the ESP. And uh, we believe in Botswana that agriculture has a potential to employ everybody and we need to import labor if we achieve our goal, which we have to. Well, just to finalize everything, what is your personal message to the investment audience of the European Times? I would like to assure all potential investors in agriculture that opportunities exist to invest in Botswana. Uh, we still are we still can claim to provide with the best investment uh, environment uh, by far uh, in Africa. The country has an educated workforce uh, and, and, uh, and cost of production is relatively low in this country. Uh, produce can be easily exported to neighboring countries and beyond, like I said, when I say and beyond, like I've just mentioned to you that uh, beef our beef reaches beef. Europe, which is Norway, no the Scandinavian uh, continent. That's how far that's how far we go. I get very impressed when I meet um, when I meet people around the globe saying, Oh I, I was in Botswana and I, I really loved your meat. Uh, I wish you had brought some for <laughs> some for us. And that's one thing that people don't know that we, we have some one of the world's best tasting beef. You can be assured of that one. Thank you very much.